Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing some of the terms which are related to the handoff strategies. So in our previous video, we saw how the handoff strategy works and I gave you a demonstration of uh, this technique. So uh, in this video, let's see some of the uh, concepts or the, some of the terms especially which are used in the handoff. So uh, I've essentially taken four uh, different uh, terms in handoff. So we'll be seeing uh, one by one in detail. So uh, let's start with the very first one that is we have the dwell time. So uh, most of you like uh, when you have a telephonic conversation, uh, you might be having uh, this signal range, this symbol. So uh, whenever uh, like uh, if you uh, see like if you go to or if you move to some places, uh, this signal range starts dropping to a considerable level and at some time uh, it may show you a cross so uh, it means that there is no radio coverage for that particular region so uh, that concept is behind this so whenever a mobile user moves from one base station to another base station what happens is the signal level drops that is uh, at the initial point it may be a stronger signal then later when you move the average signal starts decreasing so uh, base station what it does is it calculates and monitors the signal level prior initiating any handoff while the call is in progress like uh, when your call is in there so it's very important so base station always ensures that it always monitors and ensures that before handing uh, it over to the uh, another base station which is there in the another cell that is the next cell it uh, checks whether the uh, signal strength or whether the health of that network or the signal is proper or not so uh, what basically it is duration for a call is maintained in that particular cellular area is called as the dwell time like we have uh, seen the uh, honeycomb structure so in that what we had we had different different cells and within each cells we had different base stations so the duration for that particular call is maintained in that particular cellular area or network is called as dwell time so uh, some of the factors which are contributing to this uh, dwell time are or what causes this uh, signal degradation is the interference by the nearby signals or the propagation due to some other base and major thing is the range which is there between the base station and the user so that plays a very crucial role uh, in this dwell time. Next uh, we have uh, some term called as MAHO which is called as the mobile assisted handoff. Now let's see what this is there. So uh, in the first generation of the cellular networks, what we had is the MSC that is the mobile switching center monitors the signal strength and the base station measures the signal strength. But as and when time moved on uh, or time passed on, we had the second generation of mobile networks. So in this, all the handoff decisions which are done previously by the MSCs and base stations are now handled by MAHO. So MAHO is mobile assisted handoffs. So MAHO is a process in uh, the GSM network which uses mobile phones to detect stronger signal strength given by a base station and it also thereby notifies other base stations about it so that whenever uh, in a future time GSM network can transfer a call to another BS that have a better signal strength. Obviously if you go with the uh, first generation of cellular networks what it had uh, we basically had a number of base stations and then we had mobile switching centers MSCs. So uh, MSC decides uh, from uh, which base station when you move uh, then uh, which base station should be triggered to get the signal. So here it's not like that the mobile phone decides or it uh, gets the information about the signal strength and notifies other base stations regarding uh, which signal is uh, proper at uh, which cellular area. Next we move on to the third term that is we have the cell dragging. So it is a problem when during a call is in progress. So uh, whenever a pedestrian mobile user passes a base station which is having a stronger signal strength uh, it gradually just degrades up to a, a below threshold level. So as a user moves from one base station to another base station the average signal strength starts decaying. So the signal level falls very very uh, to a very low level uh, below than the handoff threshold level where the handoff could be done so it falls below that threshold level and so that level or that process is called as the cell dragging so uh, what happens is basically the handoff technique or the handoff mechanism fails leading to inconsistent traffic management and also it causes the interference and jamming by the nearby vicinity signals 
So to prevent this, you need to have some precautions or you need to take care regarding the handoff threshold level at what level or the level of uh, where the handoff is maintained uh, that you need to check whether it's proper or not. And the parameters which are relating to the radio coverage, uh, the footprint or the cells, whether it's properly clustered or not, or the adjacent cells are not causing any interference. So n number of factors are there. Next, we have the fourth concept. We have the umbrella cell pattern. So uh, to meet different different traffic needs, you have different antennas, you have different networks, you have different towers installed at various stations, uh, various places with different heights and with different ranges. So uh, what you have, uh, the basically the power levels which are there in this base stations play a very crucial role. So uh, the smaller cells in this setup which you can see are under the larger one. So this is a larger one and you have n number of smaller cells. So uh, the cells which are used for low traffic are called here as micro cells and cells which are used for high traffic are called as the macro cells. So uh, arrangement of something like this where you have a macro cell inside that macro cell you have n number of micro cells which forms an umbrella so this pattern is called as an umbrella cell pattern so that you get a better handoff uh, in this arrangement so well that was all regarding the terms relating to the handoff strategy so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to get educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video